Your Excellencies, Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, my name is Jolene Cook and I am the UK's lead negotiator for science issues and part of the UK COP26 presidency. But more importantly, who are you? Today, you're here as representatives of 10 countries. Your 10 countries represent key positions for the climate negotiations. Some of you are responsible for emitting greenhouse gases in the past. Some of you are emitting large amounts of greenhouse gases today. And some of you represent countries that are very vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Climate change is one of the greatest challenges the world faces. Already, we're seeing rising temperatures, vanishing ice, droughts, more extreme weather, and rising sea levels. Greenhouse gas emissions must be brought down quickly to avoid dangerous climate change. We're here today at this World Climate Change Conference to decide how we, as a global community, can identify the differentiated responsibilities of different nations to prevent climate change in the future. We also need to help countries deal with the level of climate change, which is already inevitable. Those who are least responsible for climate change often suffer its most serious consequences. Such a conference usually lasts for two weeks and is built on years of negotiation. But delegates, we have much less time. You've already had a chance to learn about your country. Now you'll continue to prepare yourself for the negotiations by learning about climate change and how countries can support each other financially. No politician is an expert on everything, so you'll be asked to collect information and share it with your fellow delegates. Does your country need to do more to adapt to climate change or to mitigate? Mitigation is used to describe any measure that reduces the amount of greenhouse gases going into the atmosphere. Mitigation will also reduce the climate change that is due to high human activities. However, even if we can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by mitigation, the climate will still change due to the additional greenhouse gases that are already in the atmosphere. So we'll also need to adapt to climate change by changing the way we live and work. Adapting to a changing climate presents challenges, but can also open up new opportunities. Make good use of the knowledge you gain in the next activities, as next you'll need to prepare a first version of your country's pledge. You'll be asked how much your country will reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by 2050, and how much money you can provide to support action on emissions and to support those who are already and will be affected by climate change. Now it's time to get started. Thank you and good luck.